I'm, I'm with you. And you know, Brooke, it's so cold outside. Uh, so I thought I would uh, share my green screen this morning. Let's have a little fun in living color. Let's bring them on in. Tommy yeah. Davidson. Woo -hoo -hoo! Let's talk about the cold. It is beautiful out there. By the way, have you ever done weather before? It's cold. <laughs> Perfect. That's all you need to get you through this morning. Hey, I'm going to put you up in the snow. How about okay, this? Okay. All right. So Keystone, nine inches of new snow there. Fantastic. You ski a ride? I do not. I, I, I um, snowboard. That, so you ride. You're yeah, a ride. Yeah. You're a rider. Hey, okay. let's go up to copper. 11 inches of new snow. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. okay let's talk temperatures. You know, yesterday we hit 14 below. <laughs> We are sitting in the single digits out there. Here's something that's kind of cool. I know everybody, everybody's been doing that out in the cold the past couple of days. We are seeing temperatures are warming up a little bit. Places like at Floyd Hill, down into the Palmer Divide, Foothills, okay. seeing a nice little warm up. It's eight degrees currently downtown Denver, and then over in Evergreen, 22 degrees. What's going to happen today? I'm going to let you take over. Your turn. Uh, uh, I think that the sun is going to come up tomorrow, and it's going to be uh, <laughs> cold again. You like, are correct. Really cold. Not actually not quite as bad for us. Okay, you, we, okay. we, yesterday we've had uh, one day this week in single digits. We got into double digits yesterday. Today okay. we get above freezing, hitting 37 degrees. Although we do have another system coming in this weekend. We're going to okay. see more snow on the way. You were talking about that you like to snowboard. You like to ride. Looking good up in the mountains. Hitting uh, some of the snow totals. Get this. Some areas could see a foot of snow. Places like Aspen, Vail, Telluride, Crested Butte, all could see up to a foot of snow this weekend. Yeah, make sure that you dress warm as we take it right on through. Here's what's happening. We have uh, this system coming out of the Pacific, sending up the moisture over Colorado. Then we have a cold front that's going to come through. So you want to track the system coming in? Um, I can just do the hand moves. There you go. Yeah, so you I, can just go like I just that. like how you did the whole Karate Kid thing. Just, <laughs> and there, <laughs> all cold. There you go. We are looking at the snow mainly this afternoon. This is 5 o'clock this afternoon, uh, I-70 down to the south. And then going into tomorrow morning, because that's when we have our big change again happening in Denver. Here comes the front. So folks that are going to be heading up to the mountains early, want to go to the ski resorts, you might want to be alert. Some winter driving conditions there. And then this system comes on in. So we get a blast of cold air coming in. Winds pick up. We're looking at at another one to three inches of snow here in Whoa, Denver. Okay. Yeah, it's that been very early for us that to see. Yeah, Christmas yeah, early. To see, the, see the snow coming on Get in. Your tires right. change now, guys. But you know, you were talking about the cold. Look what's coming in our seven-day forecast. I got a nice little warm-up coming. See, you come into town and you bring us warm weather as we slide into next week. So, guys, get ready for that warm up. That's Tommy Davidson. He is here. Whoop, whoop. Yay! <laughs> nice job. We're also, I like the cold pantomime there. And he's going to be back cold. coming up in a few.